Hello and welcome. This is Rufalmonger, my friends. It's been a busy day for trailers. So here we have the Victor trailer for Tekken 8, an all new character to the franchise. And earlier we also had the Omni Man trailer for Mortal Kombat 1. The breakdown for Omni Man already live on the channel. Feel free to check that out. But here we're going to talk Victor. So Victor, once again, all new character. Tekken 8 has not had many new characters. We've had Azucena, and now we have Victor. And what exactly is Victor? Well, he's an older gentleman. He's French from France, so not like French, like Monaco, like Lily is. You can see by the Eiffel Tower in the background on the stage, they're not fooling around on the French part. And he's indeed a gentleman spy, although if you see the gameplay, you're probably gonna think a mix of like John Wick and like Noctis from Tekken 7. And uh, also a lot of Raven stuff. And turns out the Raven stuff, well, there's a lot going on there because we do have the story and background for Victor. And you might notice some of the weird, like, you know, Raven style teleports because he himself is a Raven, just like Raven and Master Raven. But not only that, he is the Raven. So to talk the story briefly here, Victor Chevalier is descended from a lineage of distinguished knights, which is on the nose, I guess, uh, if you don't know your French, Chevalier just means knight, so Victor Knight. And dude's basically a super soldier for the UN. Like his fighting style is super spy, close quarters combat. And you can see in his trailer he deals with Raven, and well, the reason for that is because Victor Chevalier is the original Raven. So all this teleporting ninjutsu nonsense all came from him apparently originally. And he's the founder of the Raven unit, so Raven and Master Raven are effectively his subordinates. So our new character is effectively a very big deal and he's here for world peace, which is probably handy considering, you know, the plot of Tekken 8 is Kazuya's waging war on the whole planet. Now his style of being a Raven is pretty different than Raven and Master Raven in that less actual magic and a lot more techno toys. But well, hey, let's get into it and let's break down the trailer. So we can see the stage. This is the France stage, a big old boat on the river Seine and beautiful shot of the Eiffel Tower. Between this and Street Fighter VI, France stages have been doing pretty all right for themselves, I'd think. Victor, dapper looking dude, and voiced by Vincent Castle. So this is your stunt casting, although much better than Megan Fox. <laughs> so uh, Vincent, very uh, famous in France, and he's been in some big American films as well. Uh, some of the Oceans films, like Oceans 12, I think, and Oceans 13. Uh, he was in Black Swan recently, at least for me. He was in the film Underwater. If you like your Cthulhu, Cthulhu is literally in that film. So there you go. And he's an actual Tekken fan. He was an Eddie Gordo player, but well, we'll take what we can get, I guess. But hey, good casting, good casting. Now entering the gameplay, legitimately, this is gonna get pretty wild. This dude is nuts. Knives, guns, swords, teleports, tech explosions, all sorts of crazy things are going on here. As he strikes that John Wick pose, you can definitely tell that he's gonna be a lot more than just, you know, punch kick martial arts. And that will become very clear in our very first gameplay segment. So have a look at this. So big old slam, causes chip damage because they turn orange, go for kick and wait, what, what? He just starts blasting you with the friggin' gun. So yeah, out of the gate, like I said. So Jack blocks the move here and Victor's going for a quick low and definitely hits Jack counter hit. And it looks like it's going to be one of those deals where if you hit as counter hit, you're going to, you know, force an animation. And yeah, so he kicks your shin. And if it counter hits, he just starts blasting you away. First shot into the stomach and then just starts unloading on you with the pistol. So the gunshots look like techno bullets. Maybe that helps avoid a raiding thing. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's a good guess out of how Victor plays out of the gate. For my money, I always like moves that counterattack, and if they hit as a CH, they turn into like a much more bigger, much more elaborate animation. It just makes them seem more cool and fun. So that's our base level of crazy, and we're just gonna ramp up from here. So he has like a jet stream Sam style sword, complete with like lock mechanic for the scabbard. And also, yeah, he just does big teleport attacks, because why not? So the big sword attack does get blocked, although with the orange flash, we do know that means it caused chip. And we can infer, at least from this footage here, that sight unseen, you don't need to go into a stance, you don't do, need to do anything fancy, just you can go from neutral into a big teleport attack just dropping directly on top of the enemy's head. Also, given the hit spark of the big sword swing, I gotta assume this has some real range to it. Next up, we see what could be just a quick punish string for Victor. So, block the nunchuck and looks like just one, one, two, two. 
simple enough. But then we get fancy again. So it looks like a, just a mid-high string, but if the second hit connects, then you get the full animation. First hit's definitely a counter hit, although I don't think you need counter hit to get the whole animation. Just get the hits, cool animation, slice, slash, teleport, easy do, I guess. And now we can see up close as well, Victor's rocking different kind of knives as well. I guess the right knife for the right hand. And then we have this fun little sequence. So first off here, how he swings the knife down, I'm almost certain Noctis has an attack that's like exactly like that. And of course with weapons and teleports, you know, comparison to Noctis is going to be inevitable. But then again, there's only so many ways you can swing a knife, I guess. So I don't know, make of that what you will. I don't know if it's a reused animation. I can't even remember exactly which attack it is for Noctis. I just remember he has one quite like it. But then the follow-ups. So after the big swing, we get a string follow-up. And then is that a stance shift or is that just an elaborate string? I kind of hope after the second attack, it is a stance because, well, more stances are cool because he does hang for a split second before he goes into his follow-up low. And, you know, a stance having, you know, like one, two, three, four button and like, you know, one of them's a low or something like that. That makes sense. That's standard Tekken. But maybe it's just a super elaborate string. Who knows? We'll find out soon enough. And then here we have a basic throw and there's nothing basic about the animation. It's a uh, pretty elaborate. Big slices, teleport backdash, and then like a samurai showdown ass move. So next up, more gunplay and the fact that he can teleport after gunshots, which will be a reoccurring theme. Out of the teleport goes for a power crush and, well, knocks Lars silly, as you can see here, and then can re-teleport after the fact. It does appear after each teleport he's uh, sort of in a stance because he's holding a very Raven-style pose. So it's not just that he can teleport and just be directly in neutral. You have to follow perhaps whatever set options that are there. Seeing here perhaps more punish options, so does the block, and then goes for what looks like while standing one, causes a big old crumple, and then combo ability from there. So crumple, launch, gunshot again, teleport again, and then after that, just a big old F off sword swing, teleport again, more combo ability, and then hitting him with the butt of the scabbard. So naturally enough, it would appear that teleports are not just gimmicks to, you know, confuse the enemy. Like they're going to be a core part of just your combo structure as well. Doing attack, cancel out into teleport, do more attacks, cancel out into more teleports, so on and so forth. Next up, we see a lightning fast heat engager attack that's also a power crush because we have those little white sparklies. So it's probably going to be a pretty good move. And from the heat engager, we rush in. See this big wallop of a punch, which is chip and looks very plus on block. And after the fact, Leroy hits a button, I guess, and gets knee launched. And it's not a regular knee launcher because it's also teleport time. So you can see when he teleports down, he hits the ground with a big explosion. And it's like a big techno explosion, for lack of a more elegant term. Has all sorts of like hexagons everywhere. And you know hexagon as a shape is key worded to be future. -y. I don't know who started it but that's how it is. So that's your future tech explosion because there's hexagons on it. And from there, combo ability, and we go directly into our heat smash. So one, looks cool, more sword swings, more teleports, more technology, but uh, it also very visibly looks like a low. So a heat smash low that looks like it goes full circle and looks like it has a pretty good amount of range. That means anytime uh, Victor's low on heat, gotta watch them toes. Probably gonna be a good move is my guess. So now I guess we transition to a lore moment. So Raven shows up and now we know, as we talked about earlier in the video, I guess that Victor is the original Raven. Specifically, his codename was Phantom Raven and he's the leader of the Raven unit and all the Ravens, Raven, Master Raven and Victor, all work for the United Nations. Now the question is, since Raven and Master Raven use like ninjutsu magic and Victor uses technology, obviously an older guy, that technology wouldn't have existed, you know, 30, 40 years ago, right? So did he used to use magic or am I thinking of questions they didn't bother to think of themselves? Regardless, I guess we have a look here at one of Victor's one plus two throws. So uh, kind of keeping in theme with everything. So chucks him up and techno teleport on the way up and absolutely dunks you on the way down. As a grab connoisseur, I like that one a lot. So now keeping in theme a little bit with what we had before, this might be another counter hit styled move. So big snake edgy style kick, 
clearly hits Raven as a counter hit and then goes directly into the gun, like the low at the start of the trailer. I suppose this could be a natural string, but given there's a camera shift right after the fact, I do feel like this is only happening here because it is a counter hit. Either way, crumples Raven, and then either this is a wall standing or maybe a full crouch move, not sure, but boot, and then just another big techno explosion, tailspin, so more combo ability, couple quick hits, and it looks like dash canceling out of it into a follow-up knee. And then we just devolve into nonsense here. So gunshot teleport again, but it hit the Raven parry, so he teleported out when he was teleporting, but then my teleport beat your move out, and then I'm going to re- I'm like going cross-eyed here. The big story here is after Victor goes into teleport and he's in the stance for a brief moment here before going to attack, Raven goes for the sweep and hits exactly nothing. So either the startup of this particular attack has like intangibility frames or it has like auto parry frames at the start. And if he gets hit, he just teleports out and then smacks the enemy. A fairly elaborate setup. Anyway, you slice it. We get the wall splat from here. Okay, we got the wall splat. We're going to do a heat smash, rebounce the enemy. And then we're going to follow up here with a wall combo with a splat. And that last hits a nasty looking one because it just sends Raven flying. Now here's interesting. So this could be a parry, uh, just given by the nature. It's hard to tell even in super slow-mo going frame by frame. I'm not sure if Raven actually connects. The animation is a little unclear on that, but regardless, looks like a quick gunshot, maybe a parry. Follow up after that, quick string into a heat engager. So then we follow up after the fact on chasing on the enemy. And then big sword swing, elaborate draw animation two, big chip damage, big plus frames. And then this, I swear to God, like Mitsurugi has a move that's almost exactly like that. Although not with the elaborate explosion, but they do make a very good show here that Raven is stepping the move and he still gets blasted, right? So I don't know the story they're trying to tell here other than I guess this move must be pretty dang good. And now we're gonna keep the elaborate show going. So big swing, we saw earlier, we've seen this one. And then this is gonna be heat dash canceled. So burning our heat on that. And then quick juggle. This string has access to the big techno explosion we've seen out of several other moves. And then straight up gunshot, teleport, and then string follow up. Uh, looks like there's a good stomp out of that stance, which is very handy. And finally, as we close out all the Tekken trailers, we got the big fancy rage art. And now that we've seen what Victor is capable of, which is basically hella knives, hella guns, hella big sword, uh, we're going with the sword on this bad boy. So some quick strikes start off with, you know, we don't go for the home run swing right out of the gate. But then when we do get to the home run swing, remember earlier I was talking about like Jetstream Sam and like, this is like a Metal Gear Rising concept of like unlocking the sword and all that. Well, yeah, we're going full Metal Gear on this one. Going for the cool guy moment, you know, and besides, this isn't my sword. And then just straight up big old swing, zandats, and that's about all she wrote. So for a sword-based rage art, yeah, it's about what you need out of it. And that's Victor. So once again, not many new characters in Tekken 8. They're mostly doing on just kind of like legacy characters. But so far, Azucena, I think pretty much everyone likes Azucena. I love Azucena, and I like to see what I'm seeing out of Victor. And also, if you're unaware, there is one more reveal coming. That'll be November the 12th, I believe. And if things hold true, maybe we'll have another new character. He says, knowing what we all know that I can't actually say, because that's uh, the unspoken word on YouTube. But hey, I guess we'll find out soon. That character that will be revealed on 12th will be the final character, the 32nd character in Tekken 8. So it'll probably be a big one. And hey, you know what? Azucena, big thumbs up for me. Victor, thumbs up for me. Even though he's like, you know, more stylish and flippy than the usual powerhouse characters I like, I still dig his aesthetic. I kind of dig everything about him. He's cool. And I do like that he's an older character without being, you know, like the wizened old master archetype, you know, like the Kung Fu 100 year old character. Because, you know, there can be older characters like between their 40s and 60s, that can be fighting game characters, as you can see here, right? Uh, obviously, it's too much to expect a lady older than 25 in a fighting game. As a society, we're not there exactly yet, but seeing more cool older characters, I'm always a fan of that, especially because I turned 40 in September, right? So now I'm extra sensitive to age. <laughs> but yeah, cool stuff, good stuff, and look forward to the next trailer in a little bit. And other than all that, well, that is the video. So thank you very much for watching. Hope this video has found you well and go out and play some Tekken.
Thank you.